Hey friends, it's Jess. I am super excited to share a new product that is going to be available soon, but is not available quite yet. Um, I think some places might have it already, but some places seem to still have it kind of like on a back order. Hey Ivelisse. <clears throat> um, so Ranger was super, super sweet to me and they sent me this brand new product from their line. It was debuted at Creativation um, and it's only just now going to start being shipped. Um, on the Ranger site, it says April 30th is when it will be available. Um, hey Karen. Um, so this is from Wendy Vecchi. It is the Make Art Stay Shun. <laughs> Get it? Hey Cindy. Um, I think that this is so super cool, you guys. Um, this is essentially a magnetic mat, um, a magnetic stencil, a uh, mag magnetic stencil, a magnetic, blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk tonight, I'm so excited. A magnetic surface, there we go, uh, for stenciling, aligning, embossing, and crafting. Um, so this is the first time I'm taking it out, so I am super excited. Um, I know, so it comes in this box. Obviously it's bubble padded to make sure everything remains safe and protected. Um, it does also come, okay, so you can see that it has these holes up here. Um, these holes are there so that you can put this on a, uh, like on the wall. It actually comes with screws um, so that you can attach it to the wall. Hey Dawn. Um, it comes with screws so you can attach it to the wall. You can put it maybe like on a pegboard. I'm not sure. You'd have to find the right kind of hooks or whatever. Um, hey Rose. Hey D. Um, but yeah, so it comes with these magnets. Let's see. It comes with four magnets. They're stuck to the back right now. <laughs> um, and then it also comes with, hey Simon. Um, hey Deborah. How's it going you guys? Um, okay, so it also comes with this bendy ruler. So it's kind of like, it reminds me a little bit of the vent covers, you know, that people use to store their stamps on, um, or their dies, I mean. People use that kind of material. It's bendy like that, so it's not rigid, which is really nice. Um, and then it is magnetic also, so you can just flop it right down and use it to position or line up your projects. And then if you notice, when you put these together, they don't snap together. How awesome is that? You guys, this is magical. <laughs> um, I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally pinched myself so badly with um, the other magnets that I have for my stamp positioners. Um, these do not do that, so you can plop them all together and they don't pinch, but they are super strong. Like You can see I'm like lifting up this whole thing and they're not coming off. Like I wonder, <laughs> you can almost pick up the whole mat. Um, so it is magnetic and I'm sorry about the glare you guys. I have overhead lights so that's always going to be an issue. <laughs> um, but just so you guys can see it I'll kind of turn it to the side for a little bit. Um, but yeah so it comes with this ruler. You can reposition it wherever you need it. If you don't need it you can just plop it onto the back or off to the side. They really are Simon. Um, the magnets are awesome. I'm really excited. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, okay, so what I figured we would do is test it out and see how we like it. Hey, Georgia. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Dina. <clears throat> hey, Jenny. <laughs> um, all my crafty family are tuning in. Um, I'm super excited. So I figured that we would test it out and see kind of what you know, what we think, how it works. Um, this is literally my first time using it, the first time I took it out of the box. So it's all brand new. You guys are gonna see this right at the same time I am. Um, but I like to be able to share stuff like that with you guys. Um, I think that's a really cool uh, way to debut something or share it for the first time. Um, okay, so I've just got some cardstock that's ready to go now. We can do some ink blending. Um, I've got my stencils, and in keeping with my uh, normal tradition recently, I'm going to use Simon's stencils. Um, I've got Backsplash and Looks Like Rain, and then also over here on the side I have Stargazer, which I've been using so it's out. <laughs> um, where did I get it? 
Um, Ranger actually sent it to me um, to help promote its release. So I got it directly from Ranger. <laughs> um, they were super, super sweet and sent it to me to test out and show you guys. So I am really super excited. Um, it's really cool to have, um, to have that option where companies um, are willing to send people stuff. I think that's super cool of the industry. Um, okay, so we've got our stencils. We've got, uh, we don't have inks. Hold on, let me grab my inks. <laughs> that would help. Luckily, everything is like really super close by, so um, it's not very far to try to get anything. Hey, Tiffany, we are testing out the new Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. <laughs> I feel like I have to say it like that every time. Like, Make Art Station. <laughs> um, I think it's so cute, because it's obviously a play on words, and you guys know how I love my puns. Hey, Diane. Um, okay, so what do we want to do first? Do we want to do some ink blending first? Um, you know what I think is so super cool? Oh, yes. Yeah, Tiffany, I saw it at Creativation, and I have been wanting it ever since. So this was like a dream come true. <laughs> um, I just think that this thing is so, so cool. So check this out. If you wanted to line up a sentiment or something, you could do that just like this and have it all ready to go, where you can line up your letters, you can line up whatever it is you're doing, um, and it'll be nice and perfectly straight, which I think is so super cool. Um, you could use this to like position ribbon. Um, so like if you were gonna adhere some ribbon, I always get it wonky. <laughs> um, so this would actually be really nice for that because you've got the grid on the actual mat itself, and then you have the ruler that you can put in front and line it up. That is awesome. And it's a magnetic ruler, so it holds your paper in place too, so it's not shifting around all over the place. Super duper cool. You can also use the magnets to hold your paper in place too, whichever you prefer, both, either. <laughs> it looks like you can do either one. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do some ink blending, because why not, right? I have this stencil out of the packaging already, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that. This is the Stargazer stencil from Simon's line. Um, it's so cool that he's here with us. <laughs> Make sure you guys say hi to Simon if you haven't already. Um, this is the Simon Hurley Create line through Ranger and it is amazing, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so normally I would get out my purple tape at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up like this. I'm gonna pop my magnets down on the outsides. And you can see, let's lift it. Yep, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. I've got a couple of foam blending pads. Obviously, these are my three favorite colors, apparently, because they're out all the time. I don't know. I can't pick a favorite because they're all my favorite, let's be real. Um, but let's just, you know, let's say that I have a favorite. <laughs> um, okay, so what we're gonna do, this first one is Remember Me. I'll just put that right there so you can see the color. Oh, I hope you can see the color. Let me move my uh, stuff down a little bit so you can actually see. I think my camera's a little crooked, you guys. Sorry about that. I'm gonna try to turn it just a little bit. Sorry if anybody gets motion sickness. It is really bothering me that it's not straight. <laughs> um, I just looked in the playback and I was like, oh, that looks really bad. <laughs> uh, hey, Belinda. Um, Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, um, the little things, right? Okay, here's the thing. I obsessively hold my stencil down, right? Like, I think we all do that. Um, oh, that's awesome. I don't know what the price is. I know on Ranger it's $19.99. Um, I do have it linked below, though, from two locations. So if you guys check out the uh, description down below, I have it linked. Um, it is... Oh gosh, where is it through? Or at least I think I do, hold on. <laughs> uh, I thought I did. Hold on a second. Am I missing it? I know I put it in there. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's I have it linked through scrapbook.com and Ranger. On scrapbook.com it's $17.99. On Ranger it's $19.99, so either way. 
It's like a $2 difference. <laughs> so $19.99 is the standard price. Sometimes scrapbook.com has it for a little bit less. Um, I, I don't know why that is that they were able to do that, but they are. <laughs> so um, the regular retail price is $19.99. Is .99. Scrapbook.com has it currently for $17.99. Um, okay, I'm gonna try with every fiber of my being to not hold the mat or the stencil in place, you guys. It's an, I don't know, it's just standard habit. So I'm gonna try to not do that. So I'm gonna put my hand like over here so that I can have the same, um, oh no, Tiffany, <laughs> isn't that always the way? I feel like that's always what happens to me. I'm gonna put my hand over here so that I can feel like I'm holding it down like normal, but we're gonna see how it works. All right, here we go. First time. You guys, it doesn't even move. It doesn't even move. I'm gonna move the magnets out of the way just so that I can um, blend. But look at that. How cool is that, you guys? I'm literally not holding it at all in place and just blending, and I'm not being gentle. Um, and it is, that's so cool. Oh, hi, Simon's mom. <laughs> Hi, Karen. <laughs> it's awesome to have you. Um, we are going to have some fun. We're testing out the um, the new Make Art Station magnetic surface from Wendy Vecchi. And I thought, what better way to do that with than with Simon's inks and stencils, of course. Because, you know, these are like my absolute favorite. I've been obsessively making things. You guys can't make me stop. Don't even bother trying. <laughs> um, all right, so just, I gotta take my hand off. Force of habit, force of habit. All right, <laughs> I have to make myself not do it. It's so hard. All right, so I'm just gonna go over very lightly on some of my upper ones so that I get a nice blend of the blue and the green. This is so crazy, you guys. And you know what's funny? I've actually never, uh, do you know how sometimes the stencil... No, it's not lifting at all. Um, it's crazy. It's I, I know exactly what you mean, how like you tape the sides down or whatever, but then the stencil kind of lifts up or it's just not quite flat and your ink doesn't go like really smooth and precise. That's not happening at all. Not at all. <laughs> um, it's like completely flat. I know, right, Tiffany? I feel like it's gonna go flying across the stage. The stage, like this is like a stage. No, across the page. <laughs> but it hasn't, it's going good so far. We will see. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, this is crazy. Hey, Vey. <laughs> um, all right, hand over here so I'm not on it. Here we go. <laughs> I keep feeling like, okay, this is gonna, oh, look, my poor, um, my poor foam blending pad has seen better days. I'm gonna try, it's like literally ripping apart. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold that in place so that we can actually get some ink. I'm gonna try not to blend these two too much because green and purple are gonna make mud, um, but I like the color transition, so we're gonna deal with it. <laughs> the possibility that we might get a little bit of mud. My poor, I need to go restock my, uh, foam blending pads because man, <laughs> wow. Okay, can you guys see how hard I'm doing this? I don't know if you can hear it. I'm not sure how the sound transfers, but like literally I'm just like, I mean, that's crazy. I wouldn't even do this with tape, right? I wouldn't even do that with tape if it was taped down and I can just go crazy like literally go crazy because that was really hard <laughs> and it's not moving at all like it's not even moving on the mat it would be one thing if it's like oh it stays in position but it moves around on the mat it doesn't even move on the mat it's crazy these magnets are amazing okay here we go are we ready for the reveal bam look at it it's magical you guys <laughs> that's a really cute background <laughs> How stinking cute is that, you guys? I'm in love. <laughs> I tried ink blending today. It was not as easy. I kept in too much color. My yellow and orange look the same. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is so super cool. I can't believe that. Number one, I love this stencil, so pretty much anything you do with it is going to be super cute. Also, you guys, did you see this card we made last night? 
well, I mean, on Monday night, it wasn't last night, it was Monday night. This is the card that we made in my live on Monday night with the same stencil. So look how different of a result you can get with that same stencil. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Um, I'm pretty excited about this and we talked about in my live too on Monday how super cute this would be as a baby card because um, you could do like hello little one or hello baby or whatever. How super cute is that? Adorable. Love the color combo. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. I am so, I'm just obsessed with this line. Totally. It's crazy. I love every product. I find that Usually when there's a release, I like stuff, but I don't like everything, right? This line, Simon's line, I just love everything. <laughs> um, so I'm just taking some water uh, and I spritz it. This was the Ranger Distress Sprayer, uh, the Tim Holtz Distress, Distress Sprayer, um, and my really super dirty microfiber cloth. Uh, that I use to clean my stamps with and voila, it's clean. I don't think that I would recommend using any sort of like harsh chemicals on this because it does have the printed grid on it. I'm not sure about that. Um, let me look at the box and see if it says anything about cleaning. Um, oh, it says clean make art station with a damp cloth and mild detergent. So, I don't know, some sort of mild soap should be fine. <laughs> oh, of course, Simon, it's the truth. <laughs> um, okay, so what else do we want to do? Let's do some more stuff. I should clean off my stencil, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> um, what else can we do with our make art station? I'm going to do that every time, I think. I think that's my thing. Um, let's see. I can get out my ribbon. Hold on. Because I want to use it like I was telling you guys before. Um, although, I don't think I have any ribbon nearby. Uh, I have twine, though. That should work. <clears throat> okay, I have twine. So, there's that. <laughs> um, let's just cut a piece off. Here you Oh, my scissors are really dull. Um, okay, so we've done that. We've got some twine. See, because now I can just, when I, whenever I'm, what am I going to put this on? i got to find something to put it on. Hold on. <laughs> Do I have a project that's already ready to go <laughs> that I can just put a piece of twine on? Let's see. Let's see. I've got a whole bunch of already made backgrounds, so I want to look through and see if, like, you guys, there's, this is the night we were foiling like crazy. Um, we had some mishaps. <laughs> um, oh, but there's that one. Look at that. That's so cool. Um, so what we were doing, we were testing out the sticky embossing powder <laughs> um, with the background stamps and stencils and all kinds of stuff like that. So um, we were trying out a bunch of different techniques. Okay, this one... This has some like Nuvo splatter on it or something. So I'm just gonna use this. Um, let's go ahead and put it down. Here we go. Wanna make sure my paper is lined up at least. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing here cause I don't really have a plan for this background at all. Um, but I am just gonna go ahead and line up our ruler. So you can see that it's bendy. Hey Lynn, um, it's bendy and it's magnetic so it sticks right down where we want it. Um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put a thin line of glue down along just right on top of where our ruler is. So this gives me a guide so that I know where to put my glue, right? And then it's not touching. Maybe you could die cut the good parts. Oh, that's good. I should probably do that. We did have some accidents, <laughs> um, but that's okay. It's all in the name of art and that is totally fine. Um, okay, so then now we can just take our twine and plop it right in there. And now it's all nice and lined up. It's in a perfectly straight line. How cool is that? So now you can use it to just line your stuff up. I think this is so neat. <laughs> it's the little things, you guys, it's the little things. Uh, because I can't tell you how long I spend sometimes doing stuff like this. 
I'm just gonna tie it or tape it down with some purple tape because I am not fancy. <laughs> um, I am gonna cut this side though. Um, but yeah, Belinda, that's a really good idea. I'll have to try to save some of my backgrounds and um, turn them into cool die cut words or shapes maybe. That'd be really cool. But look at that. So we were able to use the ruler and the grid on the mat itself to uh, line up our twine and get it positioned just right. I think that's so super cool. Um, I bet you could do the same thing for like washi tape. I'm really bad at putting washi tape on stuff, you guys. <laughs> um, a lot of times, hold on, let's actually try that because I have, I have this washi tape that I like to use with stuff. Um, yeah, I think that should be good. Okay, let's try it. Hey, Jennifer, going with the senior group in town to the planetarium. That's super cool. That sounds really fun. <laughs> You like washi tape too? All right, let's do this. So I know that I want to put it on the edge of my card, let's say. So we're gonna take our ink blended background that we just did using the mat. Oh, here's what I'll do. I'll put this down first so that I know that it doesn't shift around while I'm trying to get the magnet on there. So let's put the magnets down first. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so glad you got it. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I love it when you guys get happy mail because I know I love it when I get happy mail, so it makes me really happy. Um, I'm glad that you like it. That's so cool. I've got one more card to send out from the person who won my um, card that I made during the 24-hour live stream event. Okay, so I'm using the edge here lining it up on the mat and then that way I can uh, get it in a perfectly straight line on the side of my card then I can just pick it right up cut off the edges and then I've got a perfect little edge on the side of my card oh my gosh Jennifer that's awesome you got a misty <laughs> that's amazing I can't wait to see what you make that's super fun I love my Misty. You guys know I love my Misty. <laughs> I use my Misty on, I would say, every single card I make. I, probably every card I make. <laughs> um, I don't remember the last time I made a card and I didn't use a Misty, so there's that. Um, but yeah, so then now I can just go ahead and trim off the excess bits from the top here. Oop, if I can get my scissors lined up. There we go. And now we've got a super cool black and white stripe on the edge of our card. How cool is that? I really like it. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm digging this, you guys. This is so cool. <laughs> um, wow. This is so cool. I'm really excited about this mat. So the other cool thing, if you guys weren't here at the beginning, what I was saying is that you can... Um, there are holes up here. Uh, hopefully I moved it down enough. Yes, there are holes right here. Um, and it comes with screws. So you can, um, they're right here. It comes with screws so you can actually mount this to the wall if you wanted to use this like as something to keep your dies on while you're working, like right next to your desk. Um, you might be able to fit it on a pegboard, possibly depending on the size hooks you get or have. <clears throat> that could possibly work. Um, but you've got options, which I think is really super cool. Um, I really, really like having multiple ways to use something. It's like not everyone has the same craft desk set up or craft room set up. So it's really nice to be able to have multiple ways to use something. Um, okay, but then you can also see that I can just set this aside. So like, let's say you're working on a project and you have a few different pieces. So like I've got this extra piece over here. Um... What else do I have? I've got a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I have, a, I have a whole lot of things everywhere. So I've got like, I want to use a bunch of different elements. Um, what else? Mm, like maybe this background. Okay. So I know I want to use all of these things together on a card, but like not right this minute. <laughs> um, I can just plop that ruler right on top and I could set it as like, Literally, you guys, all those papers are being held by that one little magnet of a ruler. 
um, and it's not falling off and they're not going anywhere. They're super secure. I'm not even using the heavy duty magnets, so you can definitely use those too to hold more things. But you can keep all of your project stuff here. You could like slide it into the space between like bookshelves or like on the floor or you know I mean like you could put it just about anywhere and it doesn't even have to take up that flat real estate on your desk because we know how valuable that is right um it's bothering me that this is upside down though <laughs> um but yeah so you can use it like that or you could use it probably to like keep like different elements separate. So like, let's say you had a few pieces of a die cut that go together and you haven't assembled them yet. You can plop them under one magnet over here. And then you've got your other die cut pieces over on this side. You've got your main project pieces here. And you can use this as like a staging board for your card or your project, whatever kind of project. And there goes the OCD. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, how cool is that? Like you can stage your projects and like, especially like scrapbook layouts and things like that. It's kind of nice to get things set up ahead of time and sort of have an idea of where you want them to go. But you can't always sit at your desk the whole time, right? Like you might have to take a break and go to the bathroom or like live your life or go to work or, you know, things that normal human beings do from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then this is just really great because you can set this aside, take it wherever you could take it on the go. You guys, that's another thing you could take this with you in the car and then you won't have to worry about your pieces flying everywhere because they're all secured with these magnets. <laughs> and then it's kind of like a built in work surface because you know, you could draw on it, you could color on it, you could do whatever on this surface and then you just put your magnets down and you're good to go. How cool is that? I'm really obsessed with this. Can you tell I'm a fan? <laughs> I really like this. Yes, be a human, Ivelisse. That's my thing. We gotta be human sometime, right? <clears throat> um, okay, I'm really, really excited at how cool this is. I don't know about you guys, but I really like this. All right, let's do something with our little background that we just made. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, so if you guys have ideas, just let me know. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of like, what is gonna be the coolest way to use this. Um, so it's a full, currently, it's a full A2 size card front. <laughs> um, so I probably will trim it down a little bit uh, just because I tend to like to be able to mount them on something else. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I think I'm going to take a little bit off the top. So I want it to be five and a quarter. Yes, five and a quarter by, I might take a little bit off of this size. Maybe it'll help me keep up with things. Yes, I mean, sometimes you just have to put things aside and you can't always, um, oh, they, I can tell you, it's $19.99 on Ranger and on scrapbook.com, it's $17.99, um, if that helps you at all. There's a link in the description if you wanna check it out also, so you don't have to like go searching, um, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> um, okay, so we've trimmed it down, so now it is four by five and a quarter. It's a really cool magnetic board. <laughs> okay, I think that's so super cute. I really like the black and white with the bright pops of color. I think that's so pretty. Um, what are we gonna do though, you guys? Let's think of something really cool. <laughs> um, I know, right? The price is really good. I feel like I'm impressed with the price. Oh, thanks, Tiffany. <laughs> I know it's such a small amount, but they do add up. It's very nice. <laughs> um, okay, so earlier I was working with this one. So some of my stamps are missing because they're literally still in my mini Misty because I was creating cards, you know. <laughs> um, so the letters from the space training set and then the you did it. Here I've got the you did it. <laughs> um, oh, and the cheers is on the outside. You guys, I'm the worst at cleaning up sometimes. 
I should really, that should be my not the new year, new year's resolution is to do a better job at cleaning my stuff up after I use it. <laughs> but who am I kidding? Is that going to happen? Probably not. Probably not. Um, okay, so here are my letters. My letters that I was using earlier to make a card. I'll show you guys what I was working on if you want to see it. I'm pretty excited about it. It didn't turn out quite how I wanted it to, but I think it's still pretty cool. So this is the card that I was working on earlier. I was experimenting with putting in some extra enamel dots. So these are enamel accents from uh, Ranger. And then I used the Backsplash stencil, which I ink blended. So this is triple berry at the top. In the middle, it's rosy cheeks, then traffic cone, and then over the moon. Um, and then the YOU is from the Space Training stamp set. The Cheers and You Did It are from Bestest Friends stamp set. So I thought that was really cute. I really like the ink blending. So this is one of the backgrounds that I was trying to use up. I um, created like a ton of backgrounds using all of Simon's stuff. And I've been wanting to, um, I don't know, use them, like turn them into cards. Because I hate it when I make a ton of backgrounds and then I don't do anything with them. So there we are. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I made that one today. <clears throat> Let me move this out of the way so that we can create something. Okay, so what do we want to do with our super cute background that we made? I want to turn it into a card of some sort. <laughs> Uh-oh. I, um, I smeared it a little bit. That's okay. <clears throat> um, we've got the traditional space training stamp set, and I say traditional, but I only mean because it's related to space and that's the kind of background we use. <laughs> um, it's not really a traditional anything, but uh, we've also got Bestest Friends, which has the cute bears and the cute little people um, with the sweet little birthday cake. It's got lots of party birthday, sort of like I'm here for you. Um, no, I haven't done anything with my gel plate backgrounds yet. I have this one and this one and then like a billion that we made that like don't have the stencils and stuff on them but you can see this uh, stargazer stencil in this one um I like them a lot I don't know what to do with them though is my problem with gel plate um like mono printing or gel press gel plate printing prints whatever I don't know what they're called prints I'm just gonna call them prints let's go with that um I never know what to do with them because I don't ever want to like cut them down because they're so pretty. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, okay, so we've also got trampoline friends. So we could probably do a cute little trampoline card like with somebody jumping maybe. Um, and then of course we've got dude. Oh, dude's two. So we could do a super cute card with that also. Um, you guys know how I love my dude sentiment. <laughs> um, and obviously the dude I made you a card is super cool. I don't know. I like them all. So I have such a hard time choosing. So if you guys have something you want to see worked with that we haven't done or we have done, but you want to see it again, um, you guys let me know and we will pick something. All right. So here are our options. We've got trampoline friends, dudes to space training, and bestest friends. Sorry about the glare, but those are our options for now. <laughs> um, and we, we can um, choose something to work with as far as a background or with that, that goes with our background. That's kind of what I'm, I wanna use this background for something. Um, I'm thinking, I really, I always really like the happy, the, this banner is so super cute. I really like that. I love this, thanks for being the bestest friend ever, because that's super cute. Um, let's see. We've got party, happy birthday, cheers, you did it. We could do some more graphic stuff, like with the letters here. The cool thing about the letters is that you can stamp them right over top of this background if you wanted to, or you can stamp and then cut them out. Um, either way, totally works. Um, let's see. Why don't we do... Um, let's do your out of this world. How about that? Um, Y-O-U apostrophe 
R <laughs> and E. So we're gonna do your, oops, my apostrophe got stuck. And then we'll just not put the your on this sentiment. I think that will be really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna use this actually to get my stuff lined up. Um, and then I can put it right into my Misty, which will be cool. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I'm thinking it will, but I hope it will. So let's say, okay, I've already cut my background down. So I can go ahead and get everything lined up. So we've got Y, O, R, E. Oh, the U goes in the middle. <laughs> um, I wanna kinda get it lined up. Hey, Eliza. Um, and then we've got our apostrophe, of course, as well. That one's gonna be kinda hard to stand up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I think I kinda want it more up there towards the top. So I'm going to line up my ruler. The only question is, how am I going to be able to transfer this from here to there <laughs> without moving everything? And I don't know what the answer to that is. But you see, I can just use the bottom, or well, the top of the ruler as a ledge for my letters to sit on and line them all up. That's super cool. I think I'm gonna have to shift everything over a little bit though. Um, but this lets me kind of preview everything where it is going to be. This is actually really neat. If I can pull this off, <laughs> um, this will be super cool. I have an idea actually for it. So let's see if it works. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so this corner line, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a grid. It doesn't have the grid on the outside edge. So that's how you can tell where you're supposed to line it up like this. Now the only thing is I'm gonna have to move my magnets because they're in my way. <laughs> um, but what I should be able to do is line up the bottom corner of the paper with the edge of my ruler or my uh, Misty grid and then just plop it down like this. This is super unconventional, you guys. <laughs> um, and then just make sure that it picks everything up and look at that. <laughs> And now when I have it in here, let me get my creative corners out of the way. Um, when I have it in here, hi Michael, um, it's perfectly lined up where I put it. So then I just take it out of here. I put it right in. Let's see, moment of truth. <laughs> this is a very unconventional way to use this, I feel like. But look, oh, say what? <laughs> it's like perfect. <clears throat> How cool is that? I don't know what made me think of trying to do that, but I did and there it is. So if you've got letters and you need to line them all up, you can do it like this. <laughs> um, I'm surprised that that actually worked. I thought that was gonna be like, a, well, that didn't really work out how I planned it, but here we are. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna do some uh, extreme black ink from my favorite things. I love this ink, so um, it's kind of my go-to right now. We're gonna probably have to stamp it a couple of times uh, just to make sure that we get really good coverage. But I really like how this looks in front of that um, background there. I don't know, I think it looks really cool. <laughs> this is so cute. And I like how dark you can get it um, you know, you just keep stamping. That's the beauty of the Misty is you just keep stamping until you're happy with it and it'll be fine. Um, I really like that cause I can't line things up to save my life. Hey, Michael. Um, Hey Rachel, how's it going? You guys, we are testing out new ways <laughs> to use the brand new, um, Wendy Becky make art station. Um, I'm really super excited about it. <laughs> Uh, look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love it. That's so cool. Okay, so now we've got our cute background that we stenciled without holding on to it at all. Um, that's in and of itself makes this a worth it purchase for me. 
<laughs> but look how cute that is. So what we did, for those of you who are just joining, we lined up the letters like this on, on the uh, mat using the ruler. So I used this magnetic ruler and I lined up the letters on the mat and then I plopped my misty lid right on top of it and picked it up and then it was in the perfect spot when I went to go stamp it. Hooray! <laughs> we did a thing. I'm so excited about that. All right, now we've got our back or our uh, sentiment that says you're out of this world. Um, so I think we can go ahead and um, well, we can do we can do my standard background if you guys would like, we, uh, or not standard background, but standard or default uh, setting, which is to put this on a black strip over here or something <laughs> um, and heat emboss it in white. That's kind of my default or my go-to. It's the thing, the reason I do it all the time is because I personally really like how it looks. Um, and so I do it a lot, but if you guys wanna do something different, we can do that too. You guys just let me know. Cause like we could do it at a cute little angle, like a little tag or I mean a flag or a pennant banner or whatever. Hey Jennifer, um, any way you want it. Any way you want, that's the way. <laughs> Remind me not to ever go sing karaoke, okay? If I ever tell you I'm about to go sing karaoke, just talk me out of it. Um, let's do here. I can just use my mini Misty again. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this. Like, really and truly, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I always like finding new tools and things that make my life easier when it comes to crafting, especially when, so like in my situation, I end up having to make a lot of projects and you know, so I have deadlines and projects that are due and sometimes that can kind of harsh your creative mojo. <laughs> um, and it gets really hard to stay creative and stay inspired when you have projects that have deadlines and it's not just creating for the sake of creating. Um, it's creating because somebody needs a project and somebody is expecting it to be really good. Um, I don't know. It's hard when there's expectations of your work and, um, it's not just about, Oh yeah. Fish. Oh, that's so cute. That's a good idea. Um, you know, it's not just about your own creative joy. I mean, I certainly get creative joy out of making things for sure. But, um, you know, sometimes it's hard. I'd be paranoid. Oh, no. Um, okay, so I'm going to use... So this is the Ranger White Embossing Powder. I'm going to grab a little spoon. Coffee filter. Tiny little spoon. <laughs> whoop, whoop. All right. So these little containers are awesome. I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire. Um, they are like, they're called Sistema. Um, it, they're actually made for like lunchbox snacks and things like that. Uh, but they work really well for holding your embossing powder, which is awesome. And then you just use like little tasting spoons from ice cream place or something to um, scoop your powder out, which is so super cute. Um, I will tell you that if you don't want to spend the money to buy these containers, you can also get very similar containers. They're not exactly the same, but they're very similar. I got this one at the Dollar Tree um, and it I mean, it's got the seal and everything, so I use it to hold my Swiffer cloths. But yeah, I mean, you know, yes, it comes in a three pack. Yep. Got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, so if you don't want to spend the money to buy the Sistema ones, the brand name, whatever, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get my heat tool. Hey, Eliza. I'm going to move our station out of the way because I have not done enough research and I don't know if it's heat resistant. Um, well, it says embossing, but the Ranger heat it tool gets... Uh, will be hot. Okay, use the magnets to secure. All right, we can try it. Use the magnets to secure a nine inch Ranger nonstick craft sheet onto the station for the perfect surface for heat embossing. Note, it will be hot, allowed to cool before handling. All right, well, let's try it then. Um, I do have 
a, it's not a 9 by 9 craft mat, but it should do. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And I'm going to actually use the ruler up there to hold it in place. And then I'm going to put one of the magnets here. Hi, Justin. Um, okay, it's going to get noisy. I'm going to turn on my heat tool real quick. Let it warm up really nice and hot before I take it to my surface. <clears throat> well, this will be a lifesaver if this works because then you don't have to hold it and burn your fingers. You can just magnet it down to the surface and call it good. Here we go. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys. <laughs> there it is. It worked. Oh my gosh. Now it says it is gonna be hot, so I'm not really sure um, how long it will take to cool down. So we'll have to kind of monitor that. I don't wanna, oh no, we're okay. We didn't get like prolonged heat or anything, so it's all right. How cool is that? That's amazing. <laughs> Cause now you don't have to worry about, especially when you have like a little strip like this, you don't have to uh, worry about like it blowing away or flipping over or your heat embossing or your embossing powder flying everywhere. Um, it is a piece of paper and we used um, a clear embossing ink to get this white powder to stick to it, which is called embossing powder. And then we melted the embossing powder and now it's like a dimensional raised um, uh, texture on the paper, which is really super cool. All right, so we're gonna add it to this card. It's gonna go right on the edge over here and then we're gonna do a little fishtail banner is what we decided, I think. Let me get my trash off of here. Burning fingers no more, you are right. That is so, so cool. I am really excited about that. I was about to put it off to the side and not use it, and oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I even looked. I was like, well, let me look and see if it says anything on the back. <laughs> um, that's so super cool. All right. Okay, so I trimmed off the edge there. I'm going to make a little slice in the center like this. And then I'm gonna come in from the corner until my scissors meet that center line. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So start right at that corner and go into the center and it gives you a perfect little fishtail banner, which I think is just so, so cute. Cut of your Do you say cut off your? Do you mean like put it on top of it? Or I don't know what you mean. Karen, tell me, um, can you tell me what you mean? I don't think I get it. <laughs> cut off. Do you mean like cover it up? Or, I don't know. Oh, right, oh, you're right. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I forgot, you're right. I can't do the pennant because it says you're twice. You're right. Okay, so we can't do the pennant, which is a bummer. Okay, so I see what you mean, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sometimes I forget about things. <laughs> Thank you. You were right. I was crazy. Now I wish I would have left more on the other side, though, because I could have done something cuter. I'm bummed because I really liked the little... Um, obviously, this is a magnet. My scissors are sticking to it. <laughs> um, oh, I'm bummed. I'm bummed about that. Okay. I liked the little pennant. I should have... What I should I could do it again. What I should have done is I should have erased the embossing powder, um, which I could have done. I could have just masked off where we stamped and then it wouldn't have been a problem. That triangle cutout was nice. It was, wasn't it? Here, why don't we do this? Why don't we just, because I still have it in here, um, we can just do it again. <laughs> 
because why not, right? All right, so we're gonna treat it with the powder tool so that none of like my fingerprints or anything like that have the powder stick to it. Um, this is just powder, like baby powder basically, or cornstarch, something like that. Um, and then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and just ink up the whole thing, but then I will wipe the embossing powder off instead of leaving it there. Okay, so see it's clear ink, it just gets the paper wet so that the powder sticks to it. Um, we still have our powder out, so I can just get all of this stuff back out again. And it means we can use our cool board again, um, our cool station for heat embossing again, because yay, I'm excited about it. Yeah, that was a really good catch, because I had totally forgotten about it already. <laughs> I totally forgot. All right, so we're going to flick off the excess powder. I'm a little crooked actually on this sentiment strip, but I think it's okay. Um, and then I have a paintbrush here, so I'm gonna use the paintbrush to brush off the powder on top of your, and a little bit of extra powder up here. It is a little crooked, but I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, the image is frozen. <gasps> oh no, I hate it when this happens. Or she's sitting really, really still. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. I hope that it fixes itself because the last time, okay, this has happened like two times before where something happens with the YouTube video and um, I don't know if it's like a connection thing on the YouTube end, because obviously we still have signal or else you wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, but this, uh, can you, you guys can still hear me right now, right? Let me know if you can still hear me. Prob at least we can talk to you. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> True, but you guys wanna see what we're doing, I think. <laughs> Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. It's possible that I may lose you guys and we may have to start over in another video, which if that happens, that will stink, but we can make it work. So if I lose connection, just go back to my channel and then refresh and click on the new live video when it pops up. But basically what I'm gonna try to do is go out of the YouTube app and then come back in and see if that helps. Um, so hang tight one second. Okay. Yeah, still frozen. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to go out and then come back in. If I lose you guys, just head back to my channel and then um, we'll go into a separate live. So hang tight one second.